Rampage for the Atari 2600 video computer system would be considered something of an oddity and perhaps an antiquated one at that as well, even for the time it was released. This is based on the 1986 Midway arcade game of the same name, but released in 1989, a year that would not only see the 8-bit era of video gaming in full swing, but would also be the year that video game giant Sega would release their new gaming system. A genesis, if you will, of what would be a new generation of gaming, none of which has anything to do with Rampage for the Atari 2600. Rampage gives you the choice of three monsters to play with, the giant ape George, the giant lizard Lizzie, and the giant werewolf Ralph, who was conspicuously missing from the NES version. The choice of monster here is strictly superficial. There are no real differences in attributes, strength, or weaknesses between the three monsters. The only real difference is the sprite color, because they all look the same. Well, Ralph looks somewhat distinct, George and Lizzie look to be identical twins. In any event, the goal of Rampage is relatively simple. Demolish every building on screen while feeding off stray, helpless humans and fending off against the army and other hazards, of which there are plenty. And plenty of hazards mean plenty of health being pelted away, but you can get some health back by eating other humans and whatever snacks you might in uncover in the buildings you wreck. But be careful, some snacks might actually be bad for you and hurt you, and if your health dwindles to nothing, you'll revert to a plain old human, vulnerable to the elements. If you accomplish your task of destroying every building, you clear the level and move on to the next, where you do the whole thing all over again. On the surface, gameplay is relatively straightforward, and in a sense, not exactly the most challenging thing. Rampage boasts well over 80 plus levels, and while there might be instances of some new elements being introduced every so often, and of city layouts being switched around, the gameplay generally doesn't change much, and the cities aren't all that distinct from each other to provide much variety. Suffice it to say, the true challenge is less conquering the opposition and more of an endurance. But this is also true of the original arcade Rampage, something not exclusive to this 2600 conversion. Generally, it's about how far you can go and how far you can stay awake. The only real sticking point here is in control. In order to punch, you need to hold the joystick in a direction you want to punch while pressing the button, which also acts as a jump button when pressed on its own. While that might seem like a reasonable compromise of sort considering the limited nature of the stock Atari joystick for something like Rampage, the execution is not quite as solid. Jumping feels awkward and limited, basically a huge leap forward and not much else. The hit detection when it comes to destroying certain elements of building or trying to eat humans within reach is questionable, and your monster, while never the most nimble creature even in the arcade original, feels more stiff and unwieldy here. I suppose some might be able to get around this hurdle, but it still feels somewhat awkward. Visually speaking, well, Activision did the best they could here, and if nothing else, you could tell it's at least supposed to look like Rampage, what with the Atari-esque block buildings and monotone characters. Still, it's not much to look at, as the only semblance of visual variety is the color of the buildings on each level. Although, to be fair, and as stated previously, cities in Rampage proper weren't exactly distinct from each other to begin with. And while you're given three characters to choose from, only Ralph looks somewhat distinct. Both George and Lizzie, despite being a giant gorilla and lizard respectively, both look the same but with different colors. However, the character mugshots during the intermissions and menus are well rendered, and the title screen's not too shabby either. Helps that I'm a sucker for Atari gradient effects, so that skyline's pretty nice too, but the rest of it is... stock for the system, I suppose. As far as sound goes, Rampage sounds fine. It's not amazing, it's not horrible, it just sounds fine. It's Atari quality, if that makes any sense. Not much to say there. Rampage on the Atari 2600 is an admirable effort in bringing the rampaging action of the Midway arcade game home, as it attempts to recreate and maintain the overall gameplay as best as it could. Unfortunately, because of hardware limitations, Rampage is ultimately an anemic iteration that tries its damnedest, but just can't get the peculiars right. It feels limited, stripped down, and just lacks that touch or polish. This would have been passable fare had it been released much earlier, 82, 83, maybe in 87 or 88, but certainly not in 1989 when there were other iterations of Rampage on much more powerful hardware available that were much more faithful. At best, this 2600 iteration of Rampage is a novelty, something to add to the collection as a curiosity piece, but as a, as a game in and of itself, it simply falls apart, or just gets demolished, I don't know, take your pick.